Hey, thanks for joining me again, and would you take a look at that? Three thousandths are run out now. I should have made a video of me doing it, but there's plenty of them on YouTube that you could go watch yourself, and and quite frankly, it was a little scary when I was doing it, and and because I really didn't have anything to lose, I didn't really care. What I ended up doing was taking my Dremel and a grinding stone, hose clamping it to my uh, tool post, and I took a piece of aluminum that I had cut down and cut down using the four jaw, stuck it in the back side of the three jaw, clamped down on it, and then ran the the uh, die grinder up into the jaws and, and took a little bit off at a time and that didn't really work that great what I ended up doing was treating this like a four jaw I would spin it around find the high spot and say okay here's the uh, jaw that's caused my issues I would uh, take this back out put my piece of aluminum back in there clamp it back down and then just work on that one jaw and I would just take a little bit off, pull my spacer back out, put the pin back in, check it again. Alright, so it's moved over here a little bit, and then I would just take a little bit off of that one. And finally, after a little bit of fussing, I got it down to what you're seeing now. Which I'm perfectly happy with, and now I can continue using this, this three jaw. Now there's some other projects I've been working on, but since they're not really lathe related, because I've been trying to keep everything, you know, if it has to... To do with this lathe then I've been you know videoing it but I figured I'd show you a few things that I've been doing that I have been doing on the lathe and this one right here is I've been working on making a machinist jack what it started out with is me wanting to play with a uh, knurler that I bought I can't remember how long ago that was too big for my mini lathe so I started out with a big chunk of steel and was playing around with the knurler and actually got a de decent little pattern out of it it was it's not very deep and you know it didn't end up very deep and I tried to go back again and and make it deeper but uh, it just messed up so I ended up cutting that part off and and then I figured well what am I gonna do with what I have left so that's I got the idea to make a little machinist jack so got to pick up a half inch bolt so I can finish the top part but I did make three sections for it so I could have different heights I got a half and uh, just over uh, three quarters and then this piece is an inch and a half tall I believe. I also managed to get my very first barrel threaded. Unfortunately I didn't take uh, any video of that and it's upstairs in the safe right now so I'll just have to show you a picture. That was a 6.5 Creedmoor barrel that I threaded 9 sixteenths by 24. One other project I made was a tactical bolt knob for my Savage Axis and 6.5 Creedmoor. Again I didn't take uh, any video of it but here's a couple pictures of that. And back to the main thing, having this three jaw in working condition. The four jaw is great to have, but the three jaw makes quick work of stuff. Uh, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you all next time.